also plenty. If you want to add over 50 biomes to Minecraft, this is the mod that will do it. It's going to add so many cool biomes. Look at this. Look at these biomes back here, all custom looking good. And truly, there are some amazing ones. It even adds in more biomes in the nether. So if you want nether biomes, check out Biomes Upon You as well, or additional nether biomes, I should say. We're going to show you exactly how to get this mod in this video. But first, it's from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft House. You go to the first link down below the breakdown, TEDxyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, so we lost our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft. Craft hosting. That's the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. First link down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Bombs of Plenty installed. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you to our in depth text tutorial for Biomes of Plenty. Once you're here, you want to scroll down and click on the yellow Download Biomes of Plenty button. That will take us off to Bombs of Plenty official download page where to download it for 1.19. You want to look at the right hand side and scroll down to the 1.19 section. Then click this orange download button there, and after a few seconds, Bombs of Plenty will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. Keep it in the bottom left of Chrome. Save it on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe to do that, by the way. Now, there's one more thing we need to download mod-wise, and that's Terra Blender. This is a requirement mod for Bombs of Plenty in 1.17. You can find this, of course, linked in the description down below. And once you're here, same thing. Come to the right-hand side, scroll down to the Minecraft 1.19 section, and then click on the orange download button next to Terra Blender Forge 1.19. The download will begin, and you may need to keep or save the file. Same that process is downloading Biomes of Plenty. Boom, there it is in the bottom left. There's one more thing we need to download and that is Forge. Forge is the mod loader that allows Biomes of Plenty and Terra Blender to work with Minecraft. You can find Forge link, you guessed it, description down below. That will take you to our in-depth guide for Forge here where if you do have any issues, you can get tons of help from this. But we are going to be going over the basics in this video, so just go ahead and scroll down, click on the green Download Forge button. The negative to Forge's official download page where you want to make sure MC1 1.19 is selected, but it's not! 1.18 is. So to select 1.19, come over to the left hand side, click 1.19, and then click 1.19 again. Now under download latest, we want to click on installer, and it will take us off the add focus. We're stopped! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever, like at all! The only thing you want to do on this page is wait about 10 seconds. And then after about 10 seconds in the top right, a red skip button will appear. Click on that red skip button, and Forge will automatically download in the bottom left. As you can see, there it is, Forge 1.19. Now you may need to save Forge in the center of your browser if you're on Firefox or keep it on Google Chrome and it's 100% safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and I want to move all these to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11, type in Downloads and click on the File folder here. And here you'll find Forge, Terra Blender, and Biomes of Plenty. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Once these are here, we're actually going to be starting off with Forge. Now if these icons look different, no worries, let's open Forge anyway. So to do that, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, what you need to do is download and install Java 17. Java 17 is basically a must-have. You have to have it for 1.19 Minecraft mods like Bombs of Plenty. So once you're here, scroll down, simple three-step process, get Java installed. If you have Java, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, make them work all happily together. So go check that out as well if you do need it after installing Java 17. Finally though, we can right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Next we're going to open up the Mod System Installer for Forge here, where all you want to do is click Install Client and click OK. So I'm going to download, install, set up, basically get Forge up and running in Minecraft 1.19 and it will eventually come up and say, successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.19, showing that it worked. You can close out of that by clicking OK and deleting Forge from your desktop. Now let's get Bombs of Plenty in by extension. Terra Blender installed. To do this, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And from the Minecraft launcher here, we want to go ahead and make sure that we're playing Minecraft with Forge. So as you can see, we do have Forge automatically selected for us. If you don't, click this little arrow next to the play button and select Forge. As long as it has 1.19-Forge right here, click play and click play again. But if it doesn't say 1.19-Forge, Click on installations. Make sure modded is checked. As you can see, you unselect modded, it disappears. Boom, there it is. Forge is there again. Click play, click play again. If you still don't have Forge here though, what do you do? Click new installation and then name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that is the IP address of our amazing 1.19 Grief Protected Survival Server. You can play on it. It's absolutely amazing. Then let's go ahead and click the version drop-down box here and select release 1.19-Forge. 
That's the most important part of all of this. You wanna make sure that this version is selected. Then you can go ahead and click create, but I'm gonna change our resolution so we can see once we get in game. Click create in the bottom right, and here we have our new profile with 1.19-Forge under it. Hover over this, click play, click play again, and the hard part of installing Bombs of Plenty is finished. That was the hard part. The easy part is actually installing Bombs of Plenty from this point forward. All we need to do is click on mods from the Minecraft main menu, and then click open mods forward on the bottom left. Again, that was from the Minecraft main menu here. Click on mods and open mods folder in the bottom left. That'll of course open up our mods folder where we can take and drag and drop both Terra Blender and Biomes of Plenty into this mods folder. You have to add them both or this won't work. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, these aren't going to be here, and that's because we need to restart Minecraft in order to get them to work. Just make sure you're opening up Minecraft with Forge 1.19, whether that's the one you created or the one that's there by default. As you can see, 1.19 Forge, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft is going to open up with Biomes of Plenty installed, and I'll show you how to get Biomes of Plenty in your world once you've got it installed. We can easily check the mods tab here and see there's Bombs of Plenty, there is Terra Blender. Now, I said I was gonna show you how to get these in game and it's actually very easy. You literally just create a new world. That, that's all you've gotta do is create a new world. I believe existing worlds can get them too, but it will only be in newly generated chunks. However, I would recommend just starting with a brand new world or a world that's already had Bombs of Plenty in it when you're using Bombs of Plenty. Otherwise, you could run in to some potential issues later down the line should you remove the Bombs of Plenty mod. But nevertheless, here we are, you can see immediately we spawn in a Bombs of Plenty biome. If we go ahead and hit F3, we can see the Bombs of Plenty biomes are identified by having Bombs of Plenty at the beginning of them. Now, obviously, they're also identified by how they look, but some stuff that uh, you wouldn't expect to be Bombs of Plenty, like some oceans and stuff like that, can be changed underwater. You might not see that from above ground, though. Now, we have this super dense evergreen forest here. And I mean, look at this. This is amazing. Called a redwood forest, excuse me. With these massive trees. And one of the cool things about Bombs of Plenty is that it does actually add in new blocks altogether. For example, the redwood trees there, as well as these trees. These are cherry blossoms. Like, oh my goodness, absolutely beautiful trees in Minecraft. And one of the things I love about Bombs of Plenty is how colorful it makes Minecraft. Look at that! Absolutely love it. And we can come through here and see all of these different blocks that are added. I mean, look at that. So much stuff. We've got the magic saplings. Like what? Magic saplings, Hellbark, so much cool stuff being added here. But nevertheless, that's how to get bombs of plenty. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. My name is Nick, and we'll see you in the next video.